basically something going on with her eye here. Okay. But this morning we've noticed that it has got a lot worse. Whoa. It was bad anyway, but this morning now something's changed. She has fluid coming out of her eye. Yeah. I mean, there's a real chance that this eye is going to rupture at any moment. Charm is a lovely French bulldog, but in an emergency situation because she has an eye injury, which is getting to the point where it's about to burst. That is really bad. So she's obviously sustained an injury to the cornea, the protective surface of the eye, but the fluid within the eye is at quite a degree of pressure and it's now starting to come out the eye itself. Oh baby, that must be so painful. The eye itself, there's just no function to that. No. I'm so sorry to say, but I'm gonna to have to remove her eye. Okay. Okay, yeah, if that's what's needed. We don't yeah. know what happened, so, you know, she just came to us like this. And yes. Whatever needs doing, if you can help with that, that would be Absolutely. great. Absolutely. Oh, sweetheart. Let me just have a quick check over of okay. her, if that's yeah. okay, because yeah. she's making quite a lot of noise. Classic for a French bulldog with no nose. Let's have a listen to your chest. So um, her heart thankfully sounds good and okay, her chest good. is clear. All the noise is coming from up here. She yes. has virtually no nostrils. You can see they're just yeah. slits. So that's making things difficult. And also she's, she's really very thin for yeah. a, a Frenchie and she's just got no energy to her, does she? She no. seems very, is she quite a shy girl? She is, yeah, she's very worried at the moment. She was initially walking a little bit on the lead, but then she kind of got too worried and um, I just picked her up and she hasn't moved since, really. Charm is looking unloved and a bit soulless as well. And it's just so heartbreaking. I don't know how the people that work here do it every single day, because uh, my heart is broken. Lots going on yeah. with this dog. Lots yeah. of, of issues, not only physical but emotional as well. She clearly is just not a dog that knows that you're a good guy. Yeah. She, she just seems like she's just fearful, staring. Well, let's deal with the physical side first, which is definitely that eye. Okay. We might have a look at the nostrils as well. Okay. And then uh, let's move to trying to see if we can find a refer of a home once we've sorted yes, those out. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yes, perfect. Thank Come you. Come on, gorgeous. Come on, my love. All right, okay. all right, I'll see you in a bit. I'll let you know. Thank you. Wonderful, thank Bye. you so much. Good luck, Charm. Good luck, Charm, I like it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Scott takes Charm straight to the rescue shoulder's medical clinic to begin emergency surgery on the nervous dog's precarious eye. Um, just come up with Cassie, and you can see... Oh, crikey. A very yeah. uncomfortable looking oh, no, eye, I, so uh... perforated ulcer. Oh, bless you. Let's get her ready for surgery. You're all right, my love. Go to sleep. No, it's really. Scott and nurse Nikki are performing urgent surgery on Charm's badly damaged left eye, which could rupture if not removed immediately. So, the plan with Charm is first of all removing the eye, and the way I do that is I suture up the eyelid, and then you remove all the support structures, the conjunctiva, around the outside of the eye. So you kind of take it out as a little sort of pocket, like an egg in a bag, really. You just have to be really careful when you're putting pressure on this optic nerve, because actually you can make them blind in the other eye. If you're not careful. Yeah. 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 That's the great thing about dogs is they, they're not hypochondriacs, so they'll just <laughs> get on with it. They go, okay, I've got one eye now, and they'll just make it work. Given the emergency nature of the operation a long way from home, Scott is also having to just make it work. I was feeling a draft actually at the moment, Nikki, but I think it's because I'm wearing someone else's scrub top. It doesn't quite fit me, so I've got a bit of a, a gap, so apologies. No, no, it's not just scantily no, too clothed. Much information. All right, too you much information, no. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but despite having to adapt to makeshift surgical wear, Right. I. Sorry, Charles. That's gone. 
Scott successfully removes Charm's non-functioning left eye. As they used to say, better out than in that one. So now that Charm's eye is out, what you're left with is a cavity. And I always like to fill it with cartilage, which gives a support that means that the eye doesn't look sunken and she'll look much prettier. That's an eye all sorted, the new little wink. The new look. Yeah, the new <laughs> not look. The new not look. Now we're gonna go even further with this new look and sort that nose. Scott will widen Charm's narrow nostrils to allow the French Bulldog to breathe more easily. What we do with this is basically we take a triangle that we take out um, and then what we do is we suture together these bits and by doing so it flares this oh, bit it out. flares it underneath, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That is great. I'm really happy with that. That makes such a difference to her quality of life. Oh my god, she's got like a nose. Yep. It's very sad that we have to reconstruct mm. these dogs to be able to breathe normally, but there we are. Today, Charm needed surgery straight away because she had an eye injury. But on top of that, I could see that this was a dog that was born with really narrow nostrils. So a lot of surgery for this poor girl today. What sort of state have these animals been in? Anything from okay to absolute dreadful states. Really? Yeah. It's very sad, isn't it, This, these dogs, when they come in, they're just catatonic, they just stay there. Uh, oh, they're so frightened. It's okay. Oh. There we go. Come on, baby. Let's put you in bed. Come on, then. Good girl. That's it. Oh, baby. There you go. Oh, there you go, it's okay. A lot of surgery for Charm today, but so worth it to be able to fix everything all at once and have her ready for a forever home. It's, uh, yeah, I feel pretty proud about that one. Fair better soon, I promise. There we go, darling. It's Scott's third day at Many Tears Animal Rescue. He wants to check on how Charm has spent the night following surgery. How are you doing this morning? Let's have a look. Oh, look at that. It's lovely and clean and a gorgeous girl. Morning, Nikki. How are Hi, you? Scott. Oh, hello. <laughs> hey, how are you? Oh, how's my girl? She's doing Hi, Charm. Really well, yeah. Hi, sweetheart. I think that she looks Pretty good, don't you, baby? And how's that spay wound looking? Is that all okay? It's looking really good. Yeah? Uh, really good. Oh. I can't even see it. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> there go. So, no more babies, no more sore eye. Oh, you're breathing a lot easier now. So, yes, uh, not breathing that a lot better. <laughs> Start of a new life, isn't it, baby? I know. She wants to go back to her kennel, mate. Does she? Yeah, uh, Chippy's waiting for her. Oh, oh okay. No. You had a good night, my love. She apparently was crying for it yesterday. Oh, I know. Really? <laughs> yeah. Lovely to hear she's got a little friend. Uh, yes, yeah, so. While Charm is recovering amazingly well. We'll go see your friends in a minute, okay? we we'll go see Charm. Cassie is comforting fellow French Bulldog, Chippy, who is missing her kennel mate dreadfully. Yeah, I think they've both been crying. So Charm was crying in the vets because she was missing Chippy and Chippy was in this kennel without Charm crying. So it's just been horrible for them both, really. Chippy and Charm have been together their whole lives. They've only known each other and we want them to stay together in their new home because it is evident how strong the bond is and they are sad without one another. Are you missing your friend Charm? It's time for kennel mates Chippy and Charm to be reunited after fretting for each other during their day apart. I'm trying to put the collar yeah, on as well. Yeah, that will fit her. Yeah, that's, that's nice. perfect. That's perfect size. Yes. Looks like you're going on an aeroplane, <laughs> isn't it? There Wonderful. We there we that. go. Yay. That's a good girl. There we are. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. Say goodbye to Auntie Nikki. Uh, bye bye, gorgeous. <laughs> All right. See you soon, Nikki. Bye. Come on. 
Good girl. It's not fun on your own, is it? No, it's not fun. Lost without her best friend. Are you confused? Are you waiting for her? Who's that? The two French Bulldogs' agonising separation is finally over. Chippy, you're going to see Charm now. Come on in. Chippy, look. Is this your friend? Look. Oh, hi. Oh, you happy to have your friend back? Oh, it's so cute. Well, I really hope that they're going to have wonderful homes. They totally deserve it. Oh, you guys are so cute together. Like yeah. two old ladies at a nursing home. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> What's the plan for these guys moving forward? So these guys need to stay together. We, oh, really? Well, we want them to stay together. That yes. is going to be a requirement for their oh. rehoming criteria because they've been together forever. They're very bonded. Yeah. So we're hoping that um, a lovely person will take both of them on. Does it not sound nice? Yes. Good luck, baby. Good girl. Well done. You've done really well. Old kids for you. There you go. <laughs> Don't make you jealous. Okay, you look after each other, girls. See you later, Cassie. <laughs> Bye.